Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how the Apple Health app just might help you prevent one of the most common causes of hearing loss. Coming up. Over 500 million people worldwide have hearing loss. And in the United States, 15 to 25% of adult hearing loss is caused by damaging exposure to loud noise. Occupational noise exposure, like the kind experienced in manufacturing, transportation, farming, and construction, makes up a huge portion of this group. But a lot of our loud noise exposure as humans is self-inflicted through noisy hobbies, like off-roading, woodworking, riding motorcycles, attending concerts and music festivals, frequenting bars or nightclubs, and even listening to music through headphones. Even restaurants and movie theaters have taken heat recently for the remarkable increase in the volume over the last few years. In fact, loud noise has now become such a normal part of everyday life that a recent study suggests nearly 12.5% of children have some level of noise-induced hearing loss. This type of a hearing loss often impacts your ability to hear high-frequency consonant sounds, the type of sounds we use to get clarity and distinction out of speech. Both adults and children suffering from untreated noise-induced hearing loss can experience difficulty hearing soft-spoken or distant speakers, hearing dialogue on TV, and in noisy settings like classrooms, restaurants, and conference rooms. And frankly, this is a huge bummer to see because noise-induced hearing loss is just about the only type of hearing loss that you can almost entirely prevent once you know your risks and how to protect yourself. One major and rising risk to the hearing of adults and children is listening to loud music through headphones. And while most people know that there is some risk of hearing damage from this activity, there's definitely confusion about just how loud and how long that you can listen safely. But if you're one of the nearly 1.5 billion iPhone users worldwide, you're in luck. In fact, that's why today I'll be showing you how to visualize your listening habits, evaluate your risk, and prevent noise-induced hearing loss using the Apple Health app. But before we do that, if you could please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up, it really helps bring videos like these to a wider audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button with notification bell so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. Now, to follow safe listening guidelines, you'll first have to know just how much loud music is too much, and that'll depend on who you ask. Different regulatory boards have different safe exposure limits designed to prevent hearing loss from loud noise exposure. Some, like the National Institute of Occupational Health and Safety and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, were developed specifically for use in the workplace using daily exposure limits. Other organizations, such as the World Health Organization, use research and regulations from across the globe to set an international standard for any person using weekly exposure limits. The World Health Organization safe exposure limits are definitely more conservative than the other regulatory boards. And Apple Health decided to use these guidelines as the base for their hearing health recommendations. Now, each set of guidelines shows its relationship between the loudness of the sound and the length of the exposure to avoid damage from loud noise. But no matter which exposure limits you decide to use, they can always be summed up to the same idea. The louder the sound, the shorter the length of time that you can listen safely. In a workplace setting, occupational audiologists take noise measurements, implement hearing protection programs, and monitor hearing thresholds to prevent noise-induced hearing loss. But when it comes to listening to music through headphones, it can be hard to know just how loud you're listening. This has left many people listening at a much louder volume and for a much longer time than what is considered to be safe. That is until Apple added hearing health insights to their proprietary Apple Health app in 2019, and they have been expanding it ever since. So just what can you learn from the Apple Health app to prevent loud noise damage and noise-induced hearing loss? First, head to the Apple Health app and select Browse. This will open up a menu of each health category, including hearing. Here, you will find your noise exposure from headphone use over the last week. A quick glance will show either a green check mark with OK, meaning your noise exposure from music, audiobooks, podcasts, and phone calls still remains within the World Health Organization safe exposure limits. Or you will see a yellow caution symbol saying loud. 
that indicates that your listening has been too loud for too long. Opening this page will give you much deeper insights about your listening habits over time, from an hour all the way up to a year. It will even show you how much your headphone use has contributed to your noise dose for the week. This feature is an incredibly easy way to know with certainty just what level you're listening at and if you're listening for too long. It's also a great way to evaluate your listening habits over time to see if they trend in a safe direction or a damaging direction. If all your data has got the green check marks, that's great. By keeping your listening within the safe exposure limits, you nearly eliminate the risk of hearing loss from listening to loud music through your headphones. But if you are periodically or consistently exceeding the seven day limit, there's a near guarantee that this noise damage will stack up over time. With enough exposure, this can result in permanent hearing loss, tinnitus, or both, and can worsen with repeated loud noise exposures. So, do you want even more ways to ensure that you never go above and beyond the safe exposure limits? Well, first, if you don't have them on already, be sure to scroll to the bottom and turn on headphone notifications, which will warn you when you're exceeding safe listening levels. But remember, these warnings will only help you prevent noise-induced hearing loss if you actually follow them and reduce your volume whenever you receive an alert, so don't ignore them. If you want to take it to the next level, you can actually set a volume limit that will restrict the limit for overall volume that your headphones can even reach. To do this, head over to Settings, then Sounds and Haptics before selecting Headphone Safety. Under this tab, you can see how many headphone alerts you've had over the last six months and choose whether to reduce loud audio to your designated limit, somewhere between 75 and 100 decibels. If you want to be extra safe, then go right now and set this output to 80 decibels, which would be safe to listen to for an entire 40-hour work week. Just keep in mind that Apple does note that the Apple Health Hearing Insights are the most accurate when using Apple headphones or AirPods, as well as Beats headphones. Overall, noise-induced hearing loss is the most preventable form of hearing loss, but only if you take the steps to reduce your risk. If you enjoy listening to anything through your headphones, go check out your Hearing Health Insights now to see if your listening habits are on the right track be sure to turn on the headphone notifications and reduce your loud audio output settings. Then you'll definitely wanna watch my next video where I talk about how an Apple Watch and the Apple Health app together may be the best way to prevent noise-induced hearing loss that we've ever seen. Now, if you already have hearing loss from loud noise exposure, then using these data insights and looking at your listening habits are going to be crucial to avoid further noise damage. If you haven't yet had a hearing evaluation, or you are experiencing an increase in hearing difficulties or tinnitus, be sure to schedule a comprehensive hearing evaluation to establish a baseline and ensure that your listening habits haven't already caused damage. The most common treatment option for noise-induced hearing loss is hearing aids. Hearing aids aim to amplify missing environmental and speech sounds and return them to your brain for processing. But just how well hearing aids work for you depends entirely on the quality of care you receive from the provider programming them. Even the best hearing aids in the world are essentially useless if the measurements and verifications needed to ensure a successful outcome are not completed. Each of these procedures serves as an integral part of comprehensive best practices, which fewer than 30% of hearing healthcare providers actually follow. If you already have a diagnosed hearing loss and you want to ensure hearing treatment success, Make sure that you are making every effort to have your hearing loss treated appropriately by a provider who follows comprehensive best practices. And if you want help finding a provider committed to following best practices near you, be sure to head over to the map at hearingup.com. Overall, as perhaps the only type of hearing loss that is truly preventable, it is extremely important to take the steps now to reduce your risk of noise-induced hearing loss and protect your hearing. Using the Apple Health app, you can analyze your risk of loud noise damage and change your listening habits now before it's too late.